Irish has been around for quite a while. Um, it's a branding and advertising agency. They do a lot of work from branding to website development to print pieces um, across all different kinds of uh, clients from nonprofits to universities. So the most recent client that we got this past year was Western Reserve Academy. And uh, we did the view book for them and then we kind of restructured how they were presenting themselves to the public. Um, they were very conservative before doing the typical um, glossy standard grid of photos, um, not allowing necessarily their personality to shine through in the pieces that they were doing and they were mostly um, sticking to what they knew best. And so when they came to us, they really wanted us to bring a new energy and a new life. And um, with that, they had a new president who was then taking forth this idea of joy. And so she wanted throughout the entire piece for it to just scream joy and to really connect with these teens who are coming in, who are leaving their homes and going into this place where they have to find a second family and a second home. So the process for us started with um, kind of getting this messaging down and trying to really narrow it to what did joy really mean and um, then kind of trying to figure out different ways that just in a physical form factor that we could kind of showcase that this piece would be different from all the rest. Cause a lot of them all look the same, a lot of them we're using standard formats, standard sizes, um, and we really then had this oversized piece that um, really connected with the entire team over at WRA, where they were like, this is different. This is something that the kids are going to be like, wow, this is something big and something light. And um, paper really came into the mix here because we didn't want it to feel like every other piece where it was this glossy, untactile um, right. piece that just really didn't show off anything. They really liked this idea of it kind of feeling like an old school newspaper and kind of bringing in that old and pairing it with something that was new and energetic. So just a few spreads. Um, this was actually one of the projects that we were able to do an entire photo shoot with as well as the design. So um, for the cover, we really wanted to showcase this idea of boarding inside and out. So taking us to the photography, showing that um, like a dorm kind of scene along with the uh, school class scene kind of happening in the background and showcasing their entire campus and then drawing over it to show like the energy that's actually happening in this moment. Um, we wanted to use uh, bright neons. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, kind of really hit them off the bat with this uh, message of joy. Um, and then kind of making it more of an adventure for the kids. So on this page, which is a typical table of contents, we wanted them to have different things to kind of read at different sizes and kind of different ways of speaking about each section us out with doing this kind of illustration page that kind of talked about um, WRA's history as well as all of their traditions in a non-traditional sense and kind of making it a little bit more lively. They wanted to show off their beautiful campus but not focus so much on that and focus more on the lifestyle that was happening and um, just showcasing different groups, different kinds of people, really speaking to the fact that they have students that come all the way from China and Seoul and Brazil, as well as people who come from just Chicago and Ohio. We get to this center spread, which is um, really one of the bigger spreads that took into consideration all the things that a student at the um, high school could do. Really interactive chart where they could sit there and follow along and figure out what they might want to do for the day. And then in the center spread, we also had um, a parent book which still has that same flavor of the entire view book, but it's a little bit more toned back just so that the parents felt like it was a little bit more professional and a little bit um, more direct versus having the small bits of copy that are more um, attention grabbing for the students. And still trying to bring to life 
academics through iconography and still utilizing all of those drawings. And then we kind of get through the end of the book here and we end on one big group photo of the school where they're all very energetic and happy together and all showing that they work together as one. And then we get to the very ending spread, which is just kind of a fun way for the students to kind of interact and um, find out key information about WRA, but at the same time making it a little bit more fun by doing like pop quizzes and having to-do lists and um, little word searches. And that's pretty much the book at a quick glance. So from the beginning, it's always hard because you have your heart set on one kind of paper stack. And for me, it always happens where what I want, there's not enough of the paper stack that I want. So working with people like Christy over at Millcraft where they have to sit there and send us over a bunch of different kinds of samples of paper to kind of figure out what would be close to what I wanted, but still work for the budget and the time frame. Um, what was really hard to tell with this entire piece was the neons. So working through from the beginning to the end, we don't have any way to tell what those neons are actually going to look like or how they're going to interact with one another. Um, and so going on press is kind of like a leap of faith that what we had hoped for was going to come out okay. Um, the yellow stock that we chose, we decided to do um, Nina Astro Bright. We took it that and did three hits of opaque white as well as a black and just the hope that the white was going to be strong enough to outbalance the color of the paper was concerning but um, we still held on tight and still printed it and then it came out great and um, then when we decided to go with the Moon Rock by Nina for the neons we actually had to do some tests to see how many hits of the neons we would need. Um, the neons as a single hit were kind of soaking in too much for the uncoated sheet and they weren't really coming across as neon as we would like, so then we had to do double hits across the whole. Testing was very important. And we also had one other thing that we had to just kind of hope for the best, which Brian Zach over at AGS was really good at um, making a quick impromptu decision um, because nobody really knew how the uh, gradients were going to print. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times they worry about a moray pattern happening with the green and the yellow. Um, they were printing the entire book conventional and then they were concerned at the last minute so then just on the gradient pages we decided to do it as stochastic print. So this book uses um, both techniques and luckily it came out great and but it was one of those things where it was just we're hoping that this is going to be the best way to print it and then it printed out beautifully it was the best decision that we could have made